That should have been the final uh, uh, mid-course correction burn. Minus 1.6 in closing. One and a half meters per second is the closure rate. Five hundred meters, range rate minus one point six. Range four sixty. Range rate negative 1.5 and closing. meter, the range rate negative minus 1.4 closing. And this view uh, from the external crosshair engineering camera on the Soyuz MS-25, a great view of the International Space Station. The Soyuz now has begun its fly around of the station. You can see in the lower left-hand corner, the two values at the very bottom are the distance, 375, 374 meters separating Soyuz from the station and the closure rate of 1.1 meters per second. Three hundred sixty meters. Uh, negative zero dot nine is the range rate. Okay. Soyuz and its three passengers, Oleg Dovitsky, the Soyuz commander, NASA's Tracy Dyson, and Belarus spaceflight participant Marina Vasilevskaya on course, on time, for an expected docking about 23 and a half minutes from now. We've uh, passed out of range. Uh, between satellites on our tracking and data relay satellite system, we'll regain that downlink video capability a short time from now. Three hundred meters. And we're now back with our downlink television from the space station looking square on to the Soyuz MS-25. The station and the Soyuz flying 260 statute miles over Morocco, just south of Casablanca. Two hundred eighty meters separating the two vehicles. The fly around is continuing, closing at a rate of six tenths of a meter per second. Range 260, rate 0.5. And back with a view of the uh, Soyuz from external cameras on the International Space Station. The fly around of about 51 degrees underway. 
If required, there'll be a very brief period of station keeping where the Soyuz will uh, halt its approach to the station, allowing a brief period of analysis by the Russian flight controllers in Korolyov before the command is given to press ahead for final approach, contact, and capture. Rate point thirty five and closing. Copy. Range two hundred and thirty. Rate zero. Point twenty four and closing. Okay. Station Houston on station ground one for shutters and PWG last call. Monitor parameters in advance. Yes. Course pre-chow. Range 217. Range rate 0.17 and closing. Soyuz right on the money during its fly around. Pre-chow. Executed. Roll maneuver. Oleg, stand by for Zafcon. Copy. Standing by for Zafcon. Aboard that uh, vehicle you're looking at, the Soyuz MS-25, NASA's Tracy Dyson, Soyuz Commander Oleg Novitsky, and uh, Marina Vasilevskaya, about 19 minutes away from reaching their destination following what so far has been a flawless two-day journey since their launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on Saturday. And turn on Paris. Copy. Zafcon confirmed. Now turning on VSK backlight. Copy. And uh, at a range of about uh, 175 meters, the Soyuz now has begun a very, very brief period of station keeping. Turning floodlights on. Red light is on. Copy. Oleg, and you can send reach out command, uh, final approach command from the rendezvous uh, screen. Copy. I'm uh, setting up the screen. And uh, the command has been issued to initiate final approach. All of the Soyuz systems in excellent shape. This again is an automated approach. Soyuz being guided into the Prashal node module under the guidance of the Corps' automated rendezvous system. Soyuz and uh, the station flying over northern Italy about to cross uh, the Adriatic Sea. Can I send command from the rendezvous display? 1752.34, pre-chow or final approach command is sent, copy. Depot firing confirmed. Gaining. 
Copy. Monitor the final approach process. Final approach underway. The Soyuz flying over the mountainous uh, terrain of Croatia. Copy. Range 170, uh, range... 170 meters separating from Soyuz uh, from the Prashal node module. Everything in order. If we uh, proceed as planned, currently on final approach, we should be docking a few minutes early. Range 145, range rate point 0.8, the docking port is in the center, copy, all copy. This view uh, from the Soyuz now over Russian ground stations, from the external uh, crosshair engineering camera, the distance in the lower left-hand corner you see at about 125 meters, closing at a rate of about six-tenths of a meter per second. Looking down the barrel of the Prashal node module. Target is in the center, angular size. Matches the uh, uh, range. A range 100, uh, range rate 0 0.53. Uh, the target is by one point, uh, by 0.5 degrees to the right. 100 meters separating Soyuz from uh, the station. Everything is nominal. Soyuz operating flawlessly. The station systems in good shape, ready to accept the arrival of the new crew. And closing, the target is in the middle, in the center. Range 82, range rate 0.4. A target is practically in the center. The cores is operating perfectly. The docking target almost in the middle of those crosshairs, it will align so that uh, the docking target just below the docking port itself should be in the center of those crosshairs. 70 meters now separating Soyuz and Prashal. Range rate 0.35 and closing. Angular size matches the range. Range 61 meters. Uh, the range rate is negative 0.27. The target is inaudible. If you're just joining us, you're looking at video from the the Soyuz MS-25, as it is now on final approach for a docking to the Prashal node module on the Earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station, just 50 meters separating Soyuz from Prashal with uh, NASA astronaut Tracy Dyson, Soyuz commander Oleg Novitsky of Roscosmos, and spaceflight participant Marina Vasilevskaya of Belarus, just minutes away from arriving at the International Space Station. Display is selected. All LEDs are eliminated.
Ready, getting ready for the station keeping command. Range. The target is in the center. Crosshair is aligned. Range is 30. Target is in the center. Less than 30 meters separating Soyuz from the station. Soyuz uh, with one uh, final refinement of its alignment for the docking target that you see uh, just uh, below the crosshairs. Range is now 20 meters. Target is in the center. Crosshairs are aligned. We have the AR parameter, copy. Less than 20 meters now separating the two vehicles. All of the systems in good shape. Target edging in at a rate of one tenth of a meter per second. Lower. Cross pairs are aligned. Target is to the right, a half a degree, and the crosshairs are aligned. Range is 10 meters. Crosshairs are aligned. Less than 10 meters separating uh, Soyuz from the station. Good range, good rate of closure. Standing by for contact and capture. Target is in the center. Crosshairs are aligned. Standing by for contact. Uh, 
And we have contact and we have capture. Docking confirmed at 10.03 a.m. Central Time, 11.03 a.m. Eastern Time as Soyuz and the International Space Station flew 260 miles over central Kazakhstan. The Monday morning commute of Tracy Dyson, Oleg Novitsky, and Marina Vasilevskaya successfully completed. And, uh, and the docking probe on Soyuz has now begun to retract. Deactivating the light. Light is off, OFF, and uh, closing the RPV-1 valve. Once again, uh, Dyson, Novitsky, and Vasilevskaya have arrived at the International Space Station with a flawless docking at 10.03 a.m. Central Time, 11.03 a.m. Eastern Time. And at 18.04.15, we started the automatic monitoring of and uh, the pressure measurements, please report. Yes, um, in the uh, star descent module, the pressure is 8 to 9. In orbital module, the order pressure is 801. And in the post uh, contact uh, systems checks being performed by Soyuz Commander Oleg Novitsky, as you see the view of the front screen in the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow. Do we have a go to deactivate the video mode? After the test is complete, yes, you have a go. And now you are working for page uh, 81. Just a reminder. Yes, copy. The uh, docking probe has uh, retracted, enabling uh, the two docking interfaces between Soyuz and the station to be flush against one another. This will begin the initiation of the closing of the hooks. The hooks are now powered on, ready uh, to clamp around one another. First, the Soyuz hooks will be closed, followed by the Prashal hooks to form a hard mate between the two vehicles. Perform the mating and uh, uh, you mean I do not have to stand by for the time that's in RODF? That is correct. And 
and uh, S13 command, command uh, you have to send it uh, one more time after the indicator is illuminated. Yes, I sent the S Sierra 13 command one time already, and now il indicator is illuminated. Yes, and uh, now send the command again, S13, Sierra 13. And now word received that the Soyuz hooks have closed. And now Electrical I connections between Soyuz and the station have been completed. And so on, the hooks opening. Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. The rest of commanding you can do exactly as per RODF. And you can give us the pressure readings again, please, every five minutes. Copy. Uh, two more seconds remaining. The pressure in the descent module is 824, orbital module 801. In the instrumentation compartment, the pressure is 832. Copy. The uh, Prashal node module hooks now driving. They should be closed a moment or two from now. And then 82. And next pressure measurement is in 10 minutes. Copy. Moscow Station, Eastern 1, how do you copy? Go ahead, have you loud and clear? Inaudible. Finally. The hooks now the D-13 command. Copy, hooks driving. You are seeing this on the node module. Light Screen. is extended. Correct. Affirmative. SSKPM. I have the indicator Screen. illuminated uh, that latches are retracted. And I see the indication of the hooks driving. And okay, uh, D11, please report the when uh, the hook will be in the closed position per the indication. And uh, what about uh, operations per the Yes, uh, the probe RS1 retracted indicator is perform? illuminated. And SSVP indicator is uh, Alec, you had a drop out. illuminated. This is Nikolai. Uh, the question is about radiogram 9999. Do I have a go to perform close out of indicator? Affirmative. Copy in work. Sergey, the screen indication. Hooks are closed, interface is closed. Transfer hatch cover closed. Copy. Thank you. So I am and going right to now you can fill out the, the log on both Got a message. Uh, input Attention. panel. <laughs> a spacecraft has docked. Well, that's a good indication. Thank you. This is Mission Control Houston awaiting the final confirmation of the closure of the Prashal node module hooks. The uh, Soyuz hooks already closed at the docking interface.
Олег, вы не стоит by now for 15 minutes. Повторите еще раз, ожидаем, что дети так, ну, верно? Да, да, все верно. И потом работаем по You said stand by for 15 minutes. This is correct. Standing by for leak check. This is Mission Control Houston. We now have confirmation that the Prashal node module hooks have closed, and so we have a hard mate between the newly arrived Soyuz MS-25 spacecraft and uh, the Prashal node module of the International Space Station. Docking occurred at uh, 10.03 a.m. Central Time, 11.03 a.m. Eastern Time, bringing to a uh, flawless close the two-day journey of NASA's Tracy Dyson Soyuz Commander Oleg Novitsky of Roscosmos and spaceflight participant Marina Vasilevskaya of Belarus. They began their journey with their launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on Saturday morning, a 34-orbit two-day journey that culminated with their link-up to the station following a perfect, flawless journey. All of uh, the rendezvous burns were executed as planned, no issues on final approach. Again, docking occurring at 10.03 a.m. Central Time, 11.03 a.m. Eastern Time. With the hooks now having closed, the uh, leak checks will commence on both sides of the docking interface by the Soyuz crew and the station crew before the hatches are scheduled to open around uh, two and a half hours from now. So with that, we'll wrap up our coverage for now and uh, let you know that we'll be back on the air at 12.15 p.m. Central Time, 1.15 p.m. Eastern Time for an expected hatch opening at 1.40 p.m. Eastern Time that will bring uh, temporarily for the next 12 days the station's population to 10 crew members on board. So following a uh, uneventful and uh, successful rendezvous and docking by Soyuz, Dyson, Novitsky, and Vasilevskaya have arrived at the International Space Station. We'll be back in uh, just a couple of hours with hatch opening coverage here on NASA television.